it feels good to be back. What is up, guys? And welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I've played probably a few hours of this game at absolute most, just trying to figure out what on earth to do. I haven't touched career mode yet, um, but honestly, I was planning on being making a whole lot more videos recently than I have. Um, as you probably saw earlier, I started the High on Life, the video game High on Life, um, and a few days after I started that series, turns out the guy who created the game isn't that great of a guy. So um, I decided I'm not going to go back to the game, not going to bother supporting something that I don't support um, He, as him as a person. So I spent a while trying to find a new series to start. And I learned the Kerbal Space Program. It's, you know, uh, what... You can hear my dog licking in water. <laughs> um, what, you know, I consider a sit, laid back, relaxing game. Um, we'll see how that goes. But make sure to lo like, comment, subscribe, and let's hop straight into it. All right, I'm starting a new game here. Um, career, flag. Let's make our flag. Um, that's pretty cool, actually. We'll go with that. All right, difficulty. Let's put this on normal. What, what are the other opposite? Oh, yeah, never mind. All right, cool. Normal. Here we go. Loading in for the first time. All right, so, um, welcome to the space center. Nice to meet you. I'm Gene Kerman, flight director and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here, you can manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around. Hold the mice. Blah, 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 blah. Um, blah, 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 blah. If you need more information, check out the training section on the main menu. Thanks, Gene. All right, so I can't stand what I'm doing. Well, let's just hop in and try to make our first rocket. All right, let's see. What do we have? All right. Hello, I am Werner von Kerman, Chief in 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 rock Rocketry Engineer. This is the Vehicle Assembly Bay, where you can build spacecrafts and later roll them out to the launch pad for flight. Pretty impressive, isn't it? On your left, you find components. Okay, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Cool, so we got our command pod right here. Um, this is pretty much where our astronauts are going to be, if you can't tell already. Um, of course, we got to put a parachute on it, because, you know, they got to survive. And... Right now, we really don't have much. As you can see, yeah, look at that. Essentially nothing. Um, we have uh, 12 pieces of cargo, but the astronaut already carries those. And then we have mystery goo. We don't have any mystery goo, so I'm not sure what the point of putting that on is. And then we have some fins, some structural units, and engines, which is what... I want to use. But, you know, we gotta have some structure to our thing first. Let's put a couple of these on. Gotta have aerodynamics too, which I figured out that if you press this button, I can put these on, on the corners or we'll put them on the sides. Right there. Then we're gonna slap a couple engines on here. Um, what should I do? You know, we'll, we'll do one for now. Um, then we're gonna launch. Yeah, that's simple. Of course, we don't really have a lot of fuel, so we're not gonna get very high, but our main goal is just making sure that our little dude survives. So we gotta add another stage here just so the parachute doesn't immediately deploy. And here we go. Straight up. Solid launch so far. All right. And that's it. <laughs> that, that's our entire... We're launch. Let's see how how hard are we gonna get. Probably about four thousand five hundred. How hard it gets. Meters. Yeah, we have not even reached. We're still in the same level of the atmosphere right now, which means we have a long distance to go before we get anywhere near space. And we're dropping. Cool. Let's pop out the parachute now, then. But no, it's gonna actually. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Um. I'm sure I get rid of this. And it should deploy at a thousand feet. And we should just land back down, be able to collect our aircraft. Um, can't even call it a spaceship yet because it hasn't gone to space. we we'll collect that and we should be all set for our first ever launch here at the cyberspace program. Alright, make sure our pilot survives to 
One and oof. Out goes that. It should slow down, swing around, and we should land essentially back in the same place. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. I don't want this to take forever. We should land actually exactly where we took off, you know, physics and wind resistance on a thing. But just like that, our first flight at Sovereign Space Program is a success, so we can recover this. And see, they should be giving us some money here, since we did have our first flight. Yeah, look at that, look at that. $76,000. Just like that. Easy. And we have achieved our first flight. Um, I'm gonna go into, uh, there's a couple different things that, you know, are gonna be boring to put on camera, like all this crap and whatnot, but, um, I'm gonna actually, but yeah, we go in here, research and development. So we can actually get both of these, so we'll get basic rocketry and engineering. So that pretty much means that we now have access to fuel tanks, a bigger rocket, two bi way bigger rockets, like this one we can actually control, and also communication stuff and decouplers which i'm gonna show you that in a second um but right now i'm gonna build a rocket and we're gonna put that one in the space and we're gonna use all the new stuff as much of the new stuff we can at least so let me get straight to that okay so i made a little um update to our rocket here now we should be able to go a whole lot higher we got some way bigger rockets um as you can see right here and I also put uh, one that we can actually fly in there too, so let's see. Um, all three of these should go off, and we should be able to drop that, use this, drop that, and then drop back to the ground. So I'll show you how this works. All three of these, we should have a perfectly straight, dog's work. Should have a perfectly straight up um, launch. So far, so well. Look how much higher we we're about to pass how high we were and we still haven't even used all these rockets up yet so second launch here to be able to high up drop all that and then should be able to use that oh there's no fuel in that i forgot to put fuel <laughs> all right well we still managed to get relatively high up in the air um, I know our parachute isn't gonna. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing now? Um, yeah, ignore my dog. I'll fix that in a second. We're still going up in the air. Let's uh, speed this up. I know you guys aren't gonna watch. Want to watch me just sit in the air forever? Okay, so we've successfully managed to have our, you know, highest flight so far. I think we got to like, what, 20,000 feet in the air? Somewhere, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not really, I didn't really pay attention to the height. But, nice, nice flight right there. We're getting some science, so we can actually, 93,000, look at that, even more money. Cool. Alright, so, we're doing pretty well, but I want to get into space. So, in order to do that, we're going to need to use... A bit better rockets than these. This, these are fine, but if we don't have any fuel, then you know they're kind of useless. And we did get some fuel tanks, so let's slap a couple of those on there. I'm pretty sure this is liquid fuel, and this is a liquid fuel engine too. So if we just throw a bunch on there, we have to stay by these guidelines right here. So open that. Um, let's see how many of these can I slap on. That seems about fair, right? Um, then we'll put this down there. We'll put a coupler on the bottom of that. Hide all that up so we can actually use our main rockets. And then for those, I'm not sure if this will be too much weight. I hope it isn't. Hello. Something nice. I can stick this on the side. Yeah. All right. Come on. Actually, no, because I want to be able to drop these. So let's put one more down, and then put these four on. There we go. All right. That was way too much weight. <laughs> All right, that's what I thought. Um, three, maybe? Is that going to be enough? 
think that's still too heavy. Yeah, it's still too heavy. Come on. Give me something. Maybe I can use these. Maybe four of these? Is that going to be too heavy? Cool. All right. Then, our main goal now, I want to get this ship into orbit. If I pro pro probably won't be able to. But our goal for today is to get a ship into orbit. You've already seen two successful flights so far. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get this one actually up in the air. Hopefully. Um, let's see. These four go off. Drop it. These. Drop it. Cool. All right. Let's take off. So I launch. As long as you're not falling anywhere yet, I'm going to use the other rocket to angle that one to get higher up. Um, this should run up pretty soon. Relatively soon. And we'll drop it. Drop it. Then we can actually use this, angle ourselves a little bit. And we have a lot of fuel in this one. So, we're not going very fast, but we, are, we still do have a lot of fuel. So hopefully if we angle ourselves out far enough, we'll be able to get high enough in the air and um, enough of an angle to get into orbit. We might not have enough. Oh, we have nowhere near enough fuel. This isn't even close. Yeah, this one rocket by itself is nowhere near powerful enough. So what we can do is actually upgrade the amount of parts that we can use. And we're, we're dropping. We're going down. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. All right, well, let's just can I get rid of this. I can't get rid of this stage. All right, um, I don't want to get have to drop this. Um, because these these little rockets right here aren't cheap because they can actually angle your direction. But uh, if I have to, fine. That's a shame, because I lose all this stuff. I can't get it back. And there's a lot of fuel left in there. But you can see, it's not propelling it upwards at all. It's just dropping, even with the thing on. So let's go back down. Let's beat all this stuff. It's taking forever. Our astronaut survives, hopefully. Cool. Nice, safe land into the ocean. This part always takes the longest. Frustrating, just drop faster. Well, I mean, I guess I could just make a parachute deploy later. Now we splash down. I can recover this. Hopefully we get some money from it. I'm doubting it, though. Because we, we didn't get any higher than we did before. Oh, we did. All right, cool. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm pretty sure... I think we go into here. Or is it here? Yeah, we can upgrade the launch pad, which means we can now use 140... Um... I don't even know what the weight it increases from 30 to 140 which you know that's a pretty big difference look at that so we're at 14 right now um, we still only use 40 30 parts unfortunately but if we can get rid of all this garbage because clearly it's not useful um, how would we manage to get hmm I wonder can we use these angled outwards okay yeah we stick these on, angle outwards. I don't think so, can we? Oh, we can. Let's try that. We stick four of these in there. That's not gonna work, is it? It, it might actually. This might work. Let's gotta get it on the right angle. There we go. All right. Oh wait, actually, we can't use these to angle down. So never mind. That won't work. Um. Let's see, what do we have? A bunch of engines. Let's throw it, as many of those as possible, because we have plenty of funds right now. We have like, I can't see it, it's cut off on my screen, but lots of money. So if we just put a bunch of those, and then ready, here's my idea. If we take four of these, put four of those right there, and then, obviously you don't, you don't want those firing at the other ones, Put four of these right there. 
That should be enough of an offset angle so it doesn't blow up these. Actually, no, because these will be firing first. Um, all right. Do that. Hopefully, it isn't too low that it messes it up. But so far, that should work. And then I can't strap them on sideways, but um, should, have, should have enough fuel there. Actually, we still have a lot more parts to put on. So let's just play it safe. Don't want to risk not putting enough fuel on there, not being able to get up in the air. Um, these rockets are pretty solid, so 30 right now. Let's see how high that can get us, because I'm trying to get into orbit, because the, the last rocket, we're only going to use that to angle ourselves. We're not actually going to use that to fly up. And it put it in perfect order. Look at that. All right, cool. So we're here trying to get us off the ground, and that's way more than enough. We're still going straight enough. I'm hoping it puts itself in. Um, it's putting us at a slight angle. That's actually pretty useful for us. Oh, that didn't. That was not supposed to drop off. Oh no! Oh no! It dropped everything. Dropped everything. <laughs> that was not supposed to. Why did the piece break off? Oh, come on. It won't... I can't get the other part off. We're stuck on... Whoa! Yeah, we would not want to be attached to that. That is way out of control. Look at that. I don't know what happened, but for some reason, one of our parts broke off when I decoupled the first time instead of... Man... Crap, that... Ah! I gotta rearrange everything now. Cause that was not supposed to happen at all. But I'll rearrange that and we'll go to another one. Okay, so I think the problem was that our first set of rockets were just too high up. And they like clipped onto one of the other rockets and just dragged it off with it. Which is not very good. But at least we saved our Kerbal. <laughs> A piece of the, of the other... Uh, the past launch is still falling to the ground right now. That's crazy. The fact that we've already gotten the other rocket ready and the piece is just falling down now. And... Boom. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, let's see. This should all be set up already. Launch is successful off the ground. It's going to get this high enough that we can use our actual big boy rockets with all the fuel in them. That should take us up into space and we can use this other one to angle us and get us into orbit. Cool. Drop those other rockets. Look at that! Look at that! Perfect cadence. Alright. Oh no! No, not this again. Oh man, I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing wrong. For some reason the rockets they just are straightening themselves out! Oh! Okay. That was too early. And now we're kind of messed up, but... Yeah, crap. Alright, that wasn't... I can't angle this. This is too late. Yeah. We've already started spinning off. Crap! Okay, I'm losing money fast. I don't have that much... That, that many funds, so... Yeah, we're already falling back to the ground. Alright, well... Abort mission, let's fall straight back down. Um, man, that really, it was going well at first, then we started doing spirals and it ran out of fuel too soon. But, all right, we're on the right path. Just gotta fix it up a little bit. All right, I made a couple minor little changes. We have mostly the same parts. I just dropped an extra fuel cell and angled our rockets differently. So this might work a whole lot worse. <laughs> It might not. We'll see. Um, let's hold up, hold up. These four go off. And these four go off. Then we drop all of them. Cool. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright. We're going the right direction <laughs> so far. Um, Go off. We should just go get it. Like no more. Cool. We 
should be high enough so they don't start spinning this this time. So far, so good. I'm not sure if we have enough fuel. Ah, uh, we need to be higher. It's not enough fuel. Man! Alright. I have one more idea. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. That shouldn't happen. Alright. No, 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 no. I don't know how to angle these things. Crap, alright. Okay. That's not gonna be enough. We're not even in space yet. Man! This is not easy. Alright, I have an idea. We're just gonna make a couple really. Just use the NASA strategy. Just make two absolutely massive engines that are just gonna rocket us way too high in the air. Then we'll drop them, and hopefully that works. I don't think it will, but that's the plan now. This feels risky. This feels like there's, there's no way this works. <laughs> Absolutely no shot that this works at all. It's just gonna go up and immediately start spinning in circles. I already know what's gonna happen, but let's try it. If this doesn't, if this works, then we'll put the extra four on, extra two on. If it doesn't, which I know it won't, then we'll see. Should just be three, drop. All right, cool. Yeah, no shot is really <laughs> It's gonna start tipping the second we drop one. Yeah, it's already it's already going sideways. Once it starts going sideways, it's done. Oh man! All right, I mean it's still there. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Straight into the circles. Oh, okay. All right. No. Yep. There it goes. Yep. There it goes. All right. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get us high enough. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to. Oh, that's not. That's not it. Nope. 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 <laughs> Abandoned plan. That's enough of that. I'm not losing anybody today. Yeah, um... This isn't working very well. I'm not really sure what else to do. Well, that's, that's dropping in fast. And all of our debris is raining in down below. It's cool. Alright, I have one more idea. A few moments later. Alright. Take 47. And we're already in. Come on, everything's equal. I took time to make sure that to make sure that everything was equal. No. What's what's the problem? It just crashed on me. Well, that's gonna do it for me today. This has been a, a horrible recording session. I've almost pulled out all of my hair seven, uh, seven, several times. Um, if you wanna see more of my pain and suffering, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, at cyber underscore official. And I'll see you on the next one. This is, this is that, cyber out.